Georgia, you need to take a lesson from Montana. This place is awesome. Hey, it was an early wake up this morning, about 0430. It's five o'clock now, I'm at the airport. Got like 100 pounds of baggage I gotta carry in. But, 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 I'm going to Montana. Gonna go shoot me a giant bull out of my saddle. And hopefully if I'm lucky, I might get a muley too. I can't wait. Made it to Washington, beautiful Spokane, Washington. Now, I gotta drive to Montana. That's okay though, it's gonna be a beautiful drive. And there are like 20,000 elk waiting for me. Just 350 inch elk just waiting to die. forest here in Montana on the Idaho border first morning we've heard about 50 bugles so far yeah. <laughs> give or take yeah give or take uh, but we're gonna work our way around this ridge behind me and uh, got a couple of water holes that had some action here recently so we're gonna drop down in those into this um, into the drainage and check out the water holes See if there's a good place to set up for my saddle. I'm gonna bring the mantis in here and hunt out of the mantis if uh, if it looks good. If not, we'll just keep walking and see what we see. First day, it's pretty exciting. Oh yeah. heard some bugles we got one that just squealed above us on top of the ridge so we're just gonna kind of hang out here for a little bit listen be still and see if he'll keep talking hopefully he keeps talking if not he's gonna call him into us and then uh we're gonna shoot a bull on the first day, the first morning. Absolutely. And it's gonna be awesome. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's about one o'clock. I haven't really heard any more bugles since we uh, sat down in that kind of, that open ridge earlier. We heard one or two bugles down at the bottom of that ridge. Now we've climbed up the ridge and found another, a good wallow with some really fresh track in it. We could smell the elk when we walked up. Strong, so they're here. Plus we think one of the bugles that we heard wasn't very far from here, a couple hundred yards. We're just gonna settle in, see what goes on. And when the old, big old six point walks by tonight, he's in trouble. Big trouble. Well, it's about five o'clock. Still haven't seen an elk yet. Haven't heard one bugle in a minute either. Um, the temperature dropped and it got cold. Uh, and the wind was blowing. Or I'm just a big baby. I'm not sure which one. Uh, I'm not sure which one. Uh, maybe a little of both. But I was expecting temperatures in the 70s. Uh, and it definitely did not get in the 70s. I'm thinking like 50s, low 60s. 50s, for sure. Now they're 
seen anything it's been slow that's okay it only takes like 30 seconds for it to all switch about to wrap up day one in Montana we were just talking it was a good day we didn't see any elk but we heard elk we smelled elk we saw where elk were. The weather cooperated. And it's a Monday. <laughs> it's a Monday. <laughs> so we could have been working, but instead, we're chasing elk in the Montana mountains. I'm not sure there's a better way to spend a Monday. Pretty good. The only thing that could have made it better was to zip an arrow through two lungs from a tree fitty that's about it morning of day two I'm all set up in the tree we came up to this wallow and I brought my saddle in so I'm in the saddle it's pretty cool I can't believe I walked all the way up this stupid mountain with all this stupid camera equipment it's ridiculous set up on this wallow about 20 yards away about the farthest shot I can take towards the wallow is about 25 yards now if he comes off to my weak side I can shoot quite a bit further I'd have to range it I'm guessing 50 or 60 yards but I'm no Andy May or Chris B so I'm not shooting that far supposed to be cold too it's like 40 degrees I wasn't prepared for it I'm gonna freeze today sucks well it's about lunchtime I already ate one of my sandwiches but I still have one more sandwich but I'm saving that it doesn't get dark till like eight o'clock so a little after actually so I've still got quite a ways to go so wow eight more hours I just thought about that oh my gosh the good news is I'm in the saddle so I'm comfortable but man I'm cold it was 100 degrees when I left Georgia and it's 40 now 60 degree temperature swing Burn. still not a bad way to spend a Tuesday <laughs> I can't believe I'm out here doing to do this I really hope an elk comes through I might pull like a rookie whitetail move and just shoot the first legal animal that comes in just to notch my tag Sitka though. Hmm. 
I guess I have to put my other one on top of it, you know. Gotta look good for the elk. Well, that's it for day two. I'm about out of light. Um, nothing. No bugles. No deer. No elk. No nothing. Man, what a long day. Sat in the saddle for 12 hours. Oh well, there's always tomorrow. Light a match, let it go. The fire cats explode. Blow your mind one more time. Hurricane running through my veins. I'm buck wild, honey child. all the way to Montana to see an elk and I didn't get skunked. And on elk, they said. It'll be fun, they said. Taking names, digging graves, pull the trigger, and walk away. It's just the cost to be the boss. This is the payoff. The Smokies are done. Oh, these are jalapeno cheese elk Smokies. They don't even need ketchup or mustard. They're just... Jim, you know what you're doing, man. Oh, my goodness. I know there are elk out there ready to be killed, but these Smokies are legit cold wet day and you come into the Montana warming hut start a fire and make elk sausages really Georgia you need to take a lesson from Montana this place is awesome this is the payoff We just had our first encounter with a shooter bull. We're walking down the road, BSing back and forth lightly, just talking. And he goes, Jim goes, there's a bull, there's a bull. And I said, shut up, there's not a bull. I mean, we're just on the road. And he, he grabs a knee, grabs my arm, pulls me down. He goes, there's a bull right there, 30 yards. <laughs> and I'm like, no way no way so I, I'm down on my knee before I can even like get an arrow knocked and get ready and stand up he's like he's like you gotta shoot him you gotta shoot him you gotta hurry and I'm I'm fiddling with my gear trying to get it get that bow ready and he's like you gotta stand up. you gotta go you gotta go now keep in mind this whole process probably took what 30 seconds I mean like 40 45 minutes I thought <laughs> yeah it felt like 45 minutes but <laughs> really it was like 30 seconds and, mm -hmm. and the bull was down there and he's like he's like it's at 30 yards it's at 30 yards you gotta shoot him and so I stand up and right when I stand up they take off there's a cow that took off and then the bull followed her uh the bull's nice he was a he was a younger bull but he was a nice mm -hmm. bull was um, good I'd have been super happy with him it happened so fast I mean the whole thing was 30 seconds long and we were caught totally off guard and then I ranged the tree where we where he was standing and he was at 42 yards so and that's with an angle compensating my rangefinder you know calculates the angle and tells me the actual yardage so it was 42 yards so if I'd have shot him for 30 I would have missed anyway but it was cool to see mm -hmm. yeah so last morning Saturday and uh we saw a bull yeah it was awesome
It's better than a stick in the eye, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, way better than a stick in the eye. So well, that's probably it for Montana. It's been a, it's been a fun, fun hunt. Even though the animals weren't cooperating, it was a really, really good hunt. And you guys should definitely come out here to Montana and go elk hunting. It is a total blast. It's so, a trip, huh? It's awesome. Yeah. It's tough country. Uh, this is tough hunting. Uh, yeah. But it's fun. And it would have been super rewarding to get that bull. Um, that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching. You guys uh, check out some of my other hunting and fishing videos. And remember to go outside and go hiking or biking or hammocking or camping or do something just to go outside and get outdoors. You gotta get off the couch. Get out of your mom's basement. <laughs> go do something with your life. Exactly. You know, come to Montana. It'll, it'll make a man out of you. It'll, it made a man out of me. Yeah. yeah. Call it Mantana. <laughs> Mantana. Come to Mantana and go elk hunting. Mm.